As if all those fires weren't bad enough, rescues like that are being made amid some brutally high temperatures out west. John Blackstone has more now from San Francisco. A heat wave across much of California will extend through the weekend, raising inland temperatures well over 100 degrees. Los Angeles will be in the upper 90s today and Sunday. If you don't have air conditioning or something like that, uh, you're in a world of hurt. Meteorologist of Mike Peckner prepares weather forecasts for California firefighters. Already a tough fire season for firefighters. The heat makes it even tougher. Absolutely, and this is only halfway through the summer. We haven't seen anything yet. On the fire lines, the heat makes a difficult job even more challenging. Firefighters have much less stamina in that type of environment. It was 104 degrees when firefighters were called to a brush fire in Azusa, east of Los Angeles. Temperatures in the triple digits are adding to fire conditions that are already explosive. A collision on a Los Angeles freeway Friday quickly ignited a roadside fire. An injured driver had to be airlifted to safety. Fast response from fire crews kept the flames from spreading. But now, when fires escape the initial attack, they can become unstoppable. The fire behavior up in the Sierra, even in the lowlands of California, is extreme. I'd call it nuts. I mean, we're seeing spreads of 1,000 acres an hour. It's something we've never seen before. To illustrate the impact of the drought, a Los Angeles company that specializes in video from drones recorded these scenes in Central California. From above, the Golden State is largely brown. For CBS This Morning Saturday, John Blackstone, San Francisco.